Kraftwerke Lindlimmen AG plans to expand its power plant dating from the early 1960s with the Lindtal 2015 project. Planning and preparation activities have been underway since 2005. The core of the project, the new Limmen pumped storage power plant, is being built between the Limmen Borden Dam and a Lake Mutt, which is 600 meters higher. The power plant has a turbine and pump capacity of 1000 megawatts each and uses the altitude difference between the dam and the lake to generate hydroelectricity. In the run-up to the construction work, the poorly accessible mountain construction sites were opened up. A 25-ton construction cableway was built from Tierfed to Kalk Tritli. From here, the existing access tunnel zero leads to Oxenstefeli at the Limon Borden Dam. An exploratory tunnel to investigate the rock quality of the future underground galleries was built in 2007. The new access tunnel 2 was built from this tunnel and the existing access tunnel 0. This links the galleries to the construction cableway. Oxenstefeli at an altitude of 1,900 meters was secured against avalanches and rockfall. An installation, logistics and storage site was created. Another construction cableway was built from here to the highest construction site on Mutten Alp at 2,500 meters. All this exploratory work has been completed. Work on the underground galleries begins immediately after the construction decision. First of all, exploratory tunnels are constructed from the new access tunnel 2 to the upper galleries. Then the generator gallery and the transformer gallery are excavated and lined with concrete in stages from top to bottom. The generator gallery is 50 meters high and 160 meters long. Construction of the pressure shafts in the direction of Lake Mutt starts at the same time as the work on the galleries. Here too, exploratory tunnels are built first. Then the pressure shafts are excavated one after the other using a tunnel boring machine. Alongside the shafts, the valve chamber is constructed at the head of the pressure shafts via the Lake Mutt access tunnel. The water lock, a riser designed to equalize the pressure in the tunnel system, is built at the chamber. The two tailwater tunnels to the Limon Borden Dam start from the generator gallery via a further exploratory tunnel. The excavation debris is transported away via the existing tunnels and the debris tunnel constructed for this purpose. Some of the excavation debris will be used for the Lake Mutt construction site. At an altitude of 2,500 meters, construction here is only possible in the summer. The barrage wall consists of 15 meter wide blocks. It will take three summers to build the entire wall. It will be around a thousand meters long and up to 35 meters high. The barrage will raise the level of Lake Mutt by up to 30 meters. The lake is connected with the valve chamber and the pressure shafts via the headwater pressure tunnel. At the same time, the complex pressure shaft plating is installed via the access tunnel. This completes the entire feed water system. The work in the valley also starts immediately after the construction decision. The four kilometer long access tunnel one leading directly to the generator gallery has been constructed from Tierfed. The tunnel has a diameter of 8 meters and is equipped with a cable railway. This facilitates the transport of heavy equipment to the galleries. The carcass of the galleries is now completed. The heaviest individual items are the four transformers weighing up to 225 tons. The motor generators and pump turbines are installed in the generator gallery. The auxiliary systems and electrical equipment are installed. 
the generators are connected with the transformers via proprietary tunnels. Everything is then completed six years after the start of construction and the four machine groups are commissioned successfully. The Limon pumped storage power plant is connected with the tear-fed substation via access tunnel 1. From here a new 16 km overhead line leads to Schwanden, where the pumped storage power station is connected to the Swiss high voltage grid. Following construction, all installation sites will be dismantled and recultivated. What will remain is a complex, largely underground structure for the supply of peak load and balancing energy.